all right hey guys welcome to a brand new video and this is gonna be my first video in a gameplay commentary style i have been watching gameplay commentary and i do enjoy watching it so i thought since i enjoyed watching it it would be really easy for me to record and make and hopefully you guys can stick with me on this journey to everyone that did like the let's plays i hope you do give this a shot and uh, try it but yeah today we're going to be talking about the fall of valorant so one of the reasons i have seen that has caused the fall of valorant is the community the community is extremely toxic i was in a match and my whole team was just cussing each other out at the beginning of the game because of just a small mistake and it was really bad to see and another thing people have called me trash even though i'm new and i've explained to them that i'm new and then they just did not say sorry they just didn't care and that they said even though i'm new it's very inexcusable for me to make mistakes i don't know these are a bunch of grown men screaming curse words just down their mic and it is very embarrassing to see especially that's that's embarrassing for them especially coming from a 14 year old saying that that's embarrassing i think what's causing all this toxicity among the community is these degenerate people they just take this game so seriously like if they don't win swift play it just like they're gonna die it's like a, as if the swift play game like determined if they were gonna live or not and i'm it's it's good to take games like ha like have a competitive you know mindset in the game but taking it so seriously to the point where you're gonna curse and rage at your own teammates i feel like that's where you draw the line and eventually you have to like look at yourself and realize that that your teammates aren't the problem you are the problem and just fix yourself like that and stop being a degenerate you know person another thing that has ruined the valorant community is the e-dating content I would love to speak on this e-dating content a little bit more, but it's so cringe, I just don't want to watch it. I have heard that the Valorant e-dating content is really cringe, and I have seen it gotten so bad to the point where there would be this grown man who would use a voice changer to make himself sound like a girl and just destroy this dude and make him do extremely cringe things. That's how bad the Valorant, the Valorant community is. Not only with the e thing, but how, but how degenerate they are. It's just a whole bunch of grown single men who will do anything just to get attention from a woman. That is extremely embarrassing. You need to fix yourself if you are doing that. And you're just down bad if you do that, you know. Another way to tell that the community is very toxic is that the devs themselves are trying to get rid of bullying and curse words in the game if your community is that bad to the point where the devs themselves have to change you know the whole one of the main important parts which is you know the chat and the voice chat in the game that's embarrassing because this isn't like rated pg or pg 13 this is a teen game if they're trying to change it i feel like not only is it's, it's the game, but it's also the, how bad the community has gotten. Now, I did say that the game could have a, could have problems. And what I mean by that is like the gameplay. And a real example of it is the lack of, you know, new engaging content. New content has mostly been skins and a battle pass. So really the only thing you can do in the game is just buy skins. That's pretty much it. I mean, you can grind the battle pass, but I've tried and it's just been super long and super difficult. But there's really only been mono I can't speak. There's only been monetization on skins, especially like as soon as you click the shop, there's a whole bunch of skins that you have to use real money to buy. There's no way to grind to get those skins. And I'm I feel like another way to, you know, make the game better is add new game modes make it less monetization have you know a better is you know battle pass system and so then people will actually spend time grinding on the game instead of just pl playing swift play for like three rounds and then just be done for the day because that's how boring this game can get i can't last 
I would say maybe two hours playing Valorant. After may maybe two hours, I would just get bored and just like play Minecraft or something. Another thing that I have noticed is that Valorant is trying to make the game accessible to console players. I'm pretty sure they already released it as the time of this upload, but I'm not sure. But I mean, if your game is that bad to the point where you started it as a like a PC or laptop only game and had to add console to it, I feel like that just shows that you need more engaging content. Like sure, console will add more players, but eventually they'll notice how bad the game is and just quit. The greatest way to make the game better is more engaging content a better battle pass less monetization like i said and it'll just improve the game so much especially with having console added the amount of players playing will skyrocket like i'm not sure how they haven't noticed this i just can't believe it that's all i want to say for this video remember this is my first ever video commentary style so my commentary will be bad but I hope that you will stick with me on this journey and see my commentary rise and support me. And if you did like this video, consider dropping down and hitting the like button. If you do want to see more videos like these, please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, that's it guys. I hope you did enjoy this video and have a great day. Take care everybody. Goodbye.